Hi everyone and welcome to episode 2 of the Hitchhiker's Guide to ServiceNow. Today we're going to look at the external search sources in the service portal. Uh, my name is Bora Lundqvist and if I can get the PowerPoint to move, you'll see a picture of me of course. Hopefully you can see that it looks pretty much like me. Uh, a little bit of information about what I've done, what I'm doing, what I really like to do and you can see it's totally all of it is service now and some nice details if you'd like to get in touch with me just hook up on LinkedIn and talk about service now or something else of course but let's skip me and let's move on to what is it we're going to talk about today yeah we're going to talk about what we can use the external search sources for how we can configure it of course then I have done something called the search shock and you'll see what that search source does uh, an example from documentations and then we're also going to step into the basic authentication configurations as well to use that to make it a little bit slimmer and easier to use so let's get into our instance so external search sources so what is a search source if we start in that place so basically when we start writing something here like new hire what it does is it goes through our search sources and gives us the different results. In this case, out of the box, we only search internally in the ServiceNow instance, but now you can, of course, search externally as well. Uh, in our example, we're going to search the GitHub to see what we can find there and to give you some uh, information about my ideas is that we have our friend uh, Mr. Shak Tomasi who does his uh, live stream almost every day trying to help out people in the community. The stuff that he actually find there uh, and do for them he saves down in his GitHub repository. Uh, let's, uh, let's go to Shak first. So you can see there's quite a lot of repositories. The one that he's saving these ones are is in the SN community live stream. And as you can see, there are one folder for each day that he has recording his stuff. So, sometimes you might think, oh, Chuck mentioned that in some of his live stream. Which day was it? Oh, no idea. And if I click on a day, you can see he has the code. And you can see, okay, it wasn't in this one. He used the, the glide date time, for example. And then it's this. Of course, you can search here as well, but we would like to do that in service now. So, what I did was that I went to the documentation. There is actually a good example to, to start with, as has as a base. You find that under the portal, search portal search, define a search source and example. And basically, I reused these two and modified them a bit to work like I would and then it, I was up and running. Quite simple as well. So, we go to our instance. Let's go to the portal. I'll hit my out of the box one. And at the bottom, you can see the rate list called search sources. So here is where we administrate the different search sources. So I click new and created this search source called search shock. And basically you can see that I took this code which I modified and then down here in the data source is the other code and basically I mainly changed two things what I did change was the way how to authenticate if we look at the example you can see this line here where you actually paste in your username and the password which I don't really want to do I want to reuse that username and password so what I used instead was this set authentication profile. Now, sadly, there isn't a, a module for that one, but what we're going into is something called the basic authentication configurations. And I might as well make a, a favorite to that one as well, so I can easily find it. Now I have some bug in my system, so when I click on the record, it doesn't open up, which is kind of weird, but Nevertheless, history saves me, and this is how the record looks like. I just defined a name, uh, the username, and my password, and now it's encrypted, which is a, a bit nicer. You can, of course, use these when you're creating REST messages and so on, and then you get a nice reference field to this table where you can just choose the name instead. 
what we need to do is copy the, the sysid of this record and then if we go to the search source we basically just do two things we say that this is a basic authentication method and i paste in the sysid of my authentication profile then we're good to go the other thing i changed was the url because this example actually search through all the, the public uh, repositories and just looks for the name that we are searching for in those ones for files with that name and we would like to search inside the code so what i did and i'm quite new to this uh, github api so might be better ways to search than what i did but i basically hit the, the search code and i took advantage of this one to be able to search so what i built was basically this URL, then we add the search term that we are searching for, and then I actually just say, that, okay, I only want to search in this repository in, in Shock Tomasi, and then we're good to go. And then we use the template to how we would like to do, display these ones on the search page result page. If you like to fix the type ahead, when you start typing, you can do this down here. I haven't done that, but that's where you do it. So how does this work then? Well, we go to portal. Let's type light IA light date time. And I hit enter. And now you can see my search shock search source is here. That's hard to say sometimes. And you can see that I actually have two results that have used the late date time in these two files and you can actually see exactly in which folder they are as well I did one in august and one in october and if i click on them i actually get to that exact uh, file and i can see play that time here we go and if i click on the other one here's the one as well so this is a, a quick good way to find what he has done and where it actually is and I hope I won't get punched by uh, Shaq now that uh, probably lead a lot more people to his guitar but that's pretty much just good stuff I guess uh, I probably much copied the Shaq way and I did if you haven't seen my other episodes I actually put my stuff as well in the GitHub. it's quite easy but I didn't use my example since I don't have that much there yet at least so, but if you look at episode two, you can see that I put down the data fetch script, the search page template, and I also put actually in an update set XML files. So if you just want to download that one and put that into your instance, it will work. And what you need to do is of course, update the basic authentication profile with your own and go to your portal and add that search source down here as well. You can pretty much just edit it then because then it will be there. That is pretty much it about the external search sources for now. And thank you for watching and see you around.